Hi, today is Wednesday, June 25th, and it's Wednesday's Wisdom here with Deborah Leanne. We would like to talk about today trust. We tend to think of this word as a big word between people, as a relationship builder, as a team builder. There's lots of trust games and exercises so that you can learn to work with and and um, trust your team members to get your back, to hold on to, you know, to finish something on time with you, to uh, help you if you fall. And I'd like to say that the trust that we are so wanting from all others that we're in relationship with, that starts within. I have learned through lots of trial and error that I can develop my self-trust by listening to what I say to myself, um, actually asking when I go and open the refrigerator, what is it that you want right now? Is it a piece of chocolate? Maybe it's a glass of water? Maybe I need a protein shake because I'm really needing some sustenance. Or maybe I need to close it and just go get some fresh air outside. But if I don't ask and I go out of my autopilot, I don't get a chance to build trust. And if I do ask, what is it that I'm needing right now? And my body is screaming, oh, please take me on a walk. I wanna go outside and it's a gorgeous day today. I wanna to go feel that sunshine and the breeze. It's beautiful out there. And what do I do? I open the refrigerator and grab something that's probably not the best snack for me at the time, or eat even though I just ate an hour ago, we're not building trust. And I would suggest that maybe the more that we do that, we fall out of alignment, which not only hurts our internal relationship with us by not keeping us to our highest and best self, our most truthful self, but it also comes across in our relationships. We won't appear to be as trustworthy. We don't appear as um, saying what we mean. So not only is it eroding of our trust to say, you know, I'm going to be there at 10 o'clock and then show up at 1030, or I will get that report to you by Friday morning before business starts. And Friday morning comes and goes and it's noon before you email the draft off. You know, that's not going to build trust with them. But where does that trust start? It starts from within. If I say I'm going to do that, what do I need to do to make sure that that happens? And then listen to what my internal wisdom says and follow that advice. We are our own most intelligent, wise teacher. And it's time to start listening to that voice because it's a pretty powerful one. I'd love for you to tell me more about your experience with trust and listen to yourself more and see what your self is, te is telling you this week. And feel free to comment. I'd love to hear from you. Take good care. Until next week. Bye-bye.